Hey Scorpios, welcome to your bonus reading. This will be a three month peak ahead, okay guys? You was the most watched video this month, so you guys get the bonus reading. So I will be doing October, November and December, okay guys, with various decks. I will leave the information for which decks I've used in each uh, in the description box okay guys so well done you guys for having the most views this month I will take each um, a card from each for each month here of the um, Oracle deck so let's see here <laughs> we have three so we have October November and December, as I am a Scorpio as well, I want to see at the same time as you guys, okay? So we'll keep them covered up there. And let's get some romance angels, because I'm sure we want to see if there's any romance ahead. So let's see here. Oops. There is October. There is November. And there is December. Ooh, worth waiting for. I've seen it, so I had to say it. I will get some of the goddess deck here. Each month I've done the bonus reading different there. So October. So and in the coming months remember to watch your sign or if you are wanting to get a bonus reading on your partner's sign or your friend's sign don't forget to watch their videos as well to help the views on the video you want to have a bonus reading on okay there we are so let's get some support from the angels as well here with the messages from your angels deck And then we'll move on to the tarot reading for each month there. So, oh, exciting there. So, let's see. We'll use these ones. So, first, October. I'm October Scorpio. So... I'm excited to see what my birthday holds here. We'll pull five cards for each um, month there as a sneak peek into those individual months. Oops, this one, okay. So some of you um, coming out of November, sorry, coming out of September there, are still in hermit mode or still want to be in hermit mode no problem with that you know working hard here that's the only way we'll get these results but you are getting forward movement with the eight of wands there okay guys so i'll show you the five cards here so yeah you are getting this movement here from this work that you're doing you will be starting to see rewards here okay so uh, four of cups there as well you could be getting a little bit bored I mean when you're doing the work and you're on your own you know it can get a little bit lonely so because you have to cut off these people that you've had connections with most of your life or most of your adult life there you know so you can start to feel maybe a little bit lonely or things like that but I feel like you will start to have these communications and invitations coming in maybe you're not expecting them um, because maybe you had some dif disagreements with people here in October five of swords there so it does speak of a little bit of turbulence not major uh, things you have to worry about it could be disagreements with people so that may be why you're not expecting any invitations but they do come um the five uh, four of cups is you know an offer that we're not seeing um but it's going to come and it's going to be a big offer in your face here okay so we see 
um, communication coming in, we see offers being made, okay? Maybe not the offer that you want, so this can be you rejecting um, people's invitation because you want to stay in hermit mode. You want to do the work on yourself. You're soul searching right now. It's good. It's getting things in order, okay? And it could be your money that you're getting in order because we have the six of pentacles as the last card there for October. So it's feeling good, you know, seeing results coming in money-wise here. This is even maybe getting loans, but it is an influx of positive money, okay? The six of pentacles, it's being able to repay back debts, the loans, um, dealing with banks, things like that, but it's positive, okay, guys? So, yeah, I'm happy with that. You know, if you still feel you have to work on yourself, then you're doing the best thing for you here, okay? And that's what you should be doing when you're healed and you're focused. You should be, you know, healing yourself before anything else. Okay, let's see. So we have fated meeting. Okay, in October, fated meeting. You're two souls are calling, your two higher selves are calling you guys to meet here, okay? Um, so, this is why we're probably not expecting the offer. If you've still got this work to do, because the next card is love yourself, okay? You deserve love here. You are lovable. So, that can explain the hermit card here, you know, working through personal issues, family issues, friends issues there, but you have this fated meeting in October. So strange because any partner I've met, I've met them on my birthday and it used to be a family joke, but hey, <laughs> hey, maybe so. And we have Mary, miracles. We just had this for Scorpio in September, but it still is in September while I'm recording this. It's mid-September, so mid-month. Uh, bonus for you guys so I can see why this you know still the after effects of this miracle and still things coming in um <clears throat> don't doubt it okay the four of cups is a little bit of doubt and it can be stemmed from boredom so just don't doubt it there okay guys Serena I am the angel of abundance you will receive the money that you need and God is in charge of how that will happen have faith okay that money's coming in, guys. And this is what I was picking up on here, this doubt. Okay, so if you're like, well, when, where? It's, this is that five of swords energy. It's worry and it's combatant, okay? Because it's just sort of like a minor blockage. Nobody wins in this energy. It's like, trust God, okay? He's in charge of when, where, how, okay? We know he works in mysterious ways. Um, but it's coming and I see that here as well. We see this positive money here, maybe towards the end of October. Um, I see you having minor disagreements with people, maybe falling out and um, spending time alone in the beginning of October. But I see forward movement and I see you progressing because you're soul searching here. So that's wonderful. Let's have a look into a little sneak peek into November, please. Thank you. November. Ooh, two of cups. Could be because of that fated meeting there. So a soulmate. Let's see. Oops. Ooh, Empress, that's good. You're feeling good, you're looking good. Money flow is good here. I love it. You know, this is an abundant new beginning here. I feel like, look at this. This abundant new soulmate coming in because you've had a fated meeting. Wonderful. It's going to be a good time, I feel. Let's see. Ooh, the moon. Somebody will be revealed to you. I feel somebody with deep feelings here, okay? They might be quite mysterious. Us Scorpios are like that, so I'm not going to say somebody's going to come in and keep secrets from you. It could be us doing this, okay, guys? You know, being very mysterious without even knowing. 
it's just so inbred in us that we don't even know we're doing it half the time but people take that as we're keeping secrets from them okay maybe you've worked on the shadow side of yourself here and it's showing up as the moon you're more open um, to soulmate connections and you know you're more open to who you are and seeing who you are self-reflection there so you know I do feel like the moon is a positive here like I said I'm not picking it up somebody's gonna come in and keep secrets from you I feel like you know this is self-reflection and it's very positive because of the ladies reflection in the moon there you know, and I believe that people take notice of this because there's dogs in this picture, there's a crab in this picture, okay, and we see like clockwork underneath it. And I feel that's because you've been working on yourself, okay, so that's self reflection. So you're now getting positive feedback, you're in a better place to um, have a new abundant beginning with a soulmate here. So let's see. Ooh, page of pentacles this is something new beginning pages are about um, fresh starts um, something beginning learning something new okay they're all about the new um, pages it may indicate um, somebody coming in who's younger or a younger earth sign um, but in the reading there's so many signs here so don't focus on the sign okay it'll it may be while you're hard at work here that this person you know takes an interest in you maybe you start up a new business here for some of you okay but as the um two of cups was the lead card i'm going to take this as a person wanting to you know initiate this new beginning they have something to offer you here okay and the pentacle is rather big so usually in the page of pentacles, it's quite a small pentacle, it's quite a small offering, but check it out. It's a huge offer they're about to make you here. And it's because you've been um, working on yourself, so that's wonderful. Five of pentacles here. So... If you're feeling the lack, okay, um, money-wise, um, and you are saying to me or commenting or you want to comment like, well, I'm not seeing these rewards, okay, because some of you can still be feeling the lack from a soulmate. I mean, different, it's not only my subscribers who will watch this video, so it will pick up various energies, depending at what stage you're at working on yourself then that's what's going to come up for you okay guys so be honest with yourself about what stage you are because maybe some people have just broke up okay um i definitely feel like maybe towards the end of november here if you haven't been putting in the work money could be tight but it is around the time when we have like holidays, so Thanksgiving, Christmas celebrations, things like that. So don't be overspending on gifts for people, okay, guys? Somebody may, this may be why, this could be this soulmate may be a little bit poor after what they're about to buy for you, this gift here, okay? So it seems like, you know, there's something big that they're offering you or gifting to you, maybe why? So it is a general reading. It will be different for all of you here. Like I said, if some of you are still saying, look, I'm not seeing this positive money coming in. I'm not seeing these positive rewards. If you haven't been working towards anything, it's no use like commenting or saying to me, um, why are I seeing the rewards? Or why are I seeing this positivity? Because when we experience these tower moments in our lives and it's, you know, it's to wake us up. It's like a wake up call there, some sort of life experience to get us on track to a better place in our life. What we're asking for, what we're calling out for, abundance and things like that. Okay, guys. So if you're not answering the call when you get a tower moment, how are you going to be on the line? You know, how are you going to start working forward to what it is you actually desire? But it's never too late to pick up that call, okay? If you 
if you just feel that calling and you want to work towards something new because this page is about working towards something new okay so if you want to work towards better financial situations it's never too late to start you just have to put in the work okay guys um and that's no shade on anybody we just all have to put in the work i have even put self-help videos out there um so all you have to do is just like watch it and it's it's free for you to watch these videos on youtube so circumstances kind of don't stand up as an excuse like oh i don't have the money to go get these self-help things okay there's so many out there for you to watch free on youtube they're going to give you like 50% of the work and the rest of the 50% you're going to have to get up and do it yourself. Okay, guys, I have a video out there that's like 30 days, okay, 30 days to change your life. That's nothing out of your whole life, 30 days. What are you going to lose? It's like a 30 day challenge I put to you guys. Okay, so we have the queen of keys for November. We have attraction, we have devotion and we have Daniel, I am the angel of marriage and I am assisting you at this time. Okay, the queen of keys is actually, um, she's looking for somebody to return. So, you are attracting somebody in, okay guys? I do feel that some of you may be still devoted on waiting on a soulmate to return. Nothing wrong with that. It may not happen with the Five of Pentacles in November, okay, guys? But you are attracting them in and you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully, okay? So enjoy yourself during November. Could be your birthday time, you know? Don't go overspending, um, okay? You know, just feel the positive energy. By all means treat yourself here but i feel like if you are devoted to this soulmate connection it beginning again and having a new abundant beginning um angel daniel is here um to help you focus on that and stay devoted to that there okay he's trying to assist you if if you're one of those people who just know okay i you're expecting somebody here in this um the queen of keys okay this lady is expecting somebody let me see if i can find where did i just put the deck okay um she's expecting like her husband so let me find him just so i can sh there you go luckily at the top there <laughs> so this is the king of keys okay he's looking towards the castle and she can feel is almost here it's just a feeling she's got she can like feel him his presence almost like they're too far away to see each other but they just know they're coming together here and it is like a marriage card okay guys um daniel and we have this devotion so you could be working on um attracting in your husband here, somebody you consider, you know, um, you don't have to be your husband in the 3D. They can be married to you in the spiritual realm and you're just like, I'm not giving up on this soulmate here. So I feel like for you guys, the five of pentacles would say they're almost here. They're almost here, but they're not quite in the picture just yet. Okay. You are attracting them in. Stay devoted. Daniel is helping you here. Oh, not them one yet. So let's see for December. Ooh, the high priestess. That's that knowing I was just talking about there. Um in at the end of November. So it would make sense, you know, to carry it into December. You know, more knowledge, having gained more knowledge, it does say that you know you've been through um, the hermit stage there in October or even leading into October. Um, 
So yeah, you've gained more knowledge here, more of sense of awareness about yourself. That can be with the reflection of the moon as well here, okay guys? So you've learned a lot about yourself. You've answered a lot of your own questions, brought, you know, things that needed healing to the light, okay guys? Whoop. Man, I feel like money. <laughs> is attracted to me <laughs> ten of pentacles let it rain you're gonna have the payoff for all this work you've been doing you're going to be seeing the results and i know i may have just sounded a bit harsh to you guys but those of you who stuck around for december know how much it is important to put the spiritual work in People will spend their money on everything in the world, but they don't want to invest in themselves, in their own spiritual um, health and spiritual, you know, awakening. This is results, guys. During December, you're going to see major results here. If it's money you've been working on, you have this abundance flowing in now. Okay, guys. You're going to see major, major. Oh, look at that. The Hierophant. It is divine timing. It's time that you're paid out because you stuck around and did the work like you stuck around in this video, guys. That's devotion that you got at the end of November there. It's showing. Okay, guys, it's showing. Now it's time for those rewards because you've worked. I love it. Divine timing. Ooh, seven of swords here, okay. Some people may try some foolery with you during December. With these two major arcana here, I don't think, like, you'll be fooled. Uh, <laughs> I do feel like um, somebody may come back and test you. So, you know, somebody's ex may, you know, come back here. Um, it would be a younger person and try and deceive them. But if you're healed and you've done the work up here, I have no fear that you'll be like, you know what, keep working on yourself, but I don't think we're ready to be together yet. That's what a healed person would say, okay, guys? They wouldn't just be like so happy to have them back. They'd be like, are you genuine? You know, I've got some boundaries. If you're not gonna stand by them, you know, it's all good. We can keep it moving. I'm getting my money sorted. And as well, don't deceive yourself, okay? Don't deceive yourself. I feel like this doubt and these five of swords here, you could be, you know, like putting up the resistance yourself, okay? The minute you accept you are your, in your own way, that's the minute blockages are removed, okay? Don't deceive yourself about what stage you're at. Because when you know what stage you're at, you're like, okay, now I know which way to move forward. So I'll give that a minute to sink in because that's how it is, guys. You know, if somebody treat you a certain way, so you feel like it's not your fault. Okay, who allowed them to treat you that way? You did. I understand you did it because you loved them, but you did. It's taking accountability for our actions, for our future. Okay? It's not no shade. I want to get you guys moving in the right direction. Oopsie. Oh my gosh. We got two. Oops. We got two here, okay? And it is the King of Pentacles and Justice, okay? King of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles is financial stability for your future, okay? If you have any court cases or, you know, you're lying about anything, I feel like, you know, karma's coming around, okay? If you've done the work and you're a good person, you haven't deceived nobody and you haven't deceived yourself, Guess what? This justice card is showing end of December 
everything is going your way this is your karmic reward coming in you deserve all of this you deserve the love you deserve the money you deserve it all so this is like being able to relax because your financial future has stepped in so sometimes you may feel like well I, i'm not that busy well you're the boss now the boss doesn't have to do all the work so you might find divine intervention here that steps in to let you have a rest okay but you'll be seeing like things that you've asked for like for example money love confirmation maybe you just said god just give me confirmation that i'm on the right path and you'll see signs everywhere so you'll be getting confirmation you'll be getting people trying to you know attracted to you you'll have this work here um you know <clears throat> so okay let's see what we have here the queen of scrolls healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents we have stillness and we have omega victory your desire is coming to fruition keep up the good work it's basically what i just said there um so let's take a look at them the queen of scrolls this is like somebody who it's you it's somebody who's you know gained more knowledge and wisdom it can be an important woman in your life we do have family issues here so it may see you making up with certain females okay that are important to you coming in and she has something to say to you here okay um could be mother sister auntie things like that okay the queen of Stol uh, scrolls is um a woman with something to say to you here it may be apologies here with the healing family issues okay and i feel like you know you make peace with somebody here you get more time to spend um making friends family you know oh yeah christmas and that as well yeah um so yeah you'll have more time with them and that's because you've done the hard work you don't need to worry about um grinding for the money the money's here it's flowing in for you it's time to receive your karmic reward here and we have stillness so again you know it, the rest is just as important as the grind i'm sick of saying it okay this is card 52 5 plus 2 7 you know reap that abundance guys it's coming in for you okay you don't always have to be moving to be receiving an omega victory you guys deserve this. You've been working on this. Your desired outcome is coming to fruition. So whatever your initial desire was, okay, that you worked towards, is now going to happen here in December. And like I said, if you haven't been working towards anything you could start right now. Good luck, guys.